Where you're going? What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Come on, I won't bite. Hey, the butcher's men are high on some weird kind of drug. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But... I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? I wouldn't call it proof, but he was just trying to rope me into some shady deal. All I need to know. You're done, Julian. Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian... You're fucking toast. Hey, that's the pilgrim. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. Count a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's Barney gonna said if we lose control. The the hey, Hangman, how's the neck? Very funny. Let me tell you something. If I were you, then I'd have wished for them to end me. Would you rather have needless deaths on your conscience? I wish you didn't hang the innocent here. Well, it all worked out, didn't it, Pilgrim? You didn't kill anyone, and you're free. Win win. Who is Barney? Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. seen my kids in months. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no one to lay You look familiar. That's what you know. Yeah, I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? We're good. I ain't living the bazaar today. When Looking at all the dead people. Well, it says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Now then, why the board? It's been 15 years. 
Many people disappear back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. When did all this happen? A long time ago. Looking at you, you were still a kid yourself. Once upon a time, I came across two of them. Two girls. They were five or six years old, and it looked like they hadn't eaten for a month. What were their names? I don't remember. I threw them some old bread and took off because they were shaking as if they were about to turn. Red eyes, swollen veins. I don't know what they were giving them there, those psychos from the GRE. Have you heard of kids who were in the GRE tests? Huh. And who wasn't in the tests? The young, the old, the blind, the deaf. Everyone came to find a vaccine. Some for cash, others to cheat destiny and not get infected. But that was the devil's bargain of Villador. Walled in with the plague, but given the chance to be the ones who gave the cure to the world. Well, the virus won. The study was eventually discontinued. And the children? Officially, no one tested on children. Human rights and other crap. And unofficially? And unofficially. Apparently, some of the kids were taken out of the city. The rest? Well, they just scattered around the city, abandoned. If the infected didn't get them, then hunger? Or darkness did. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past. And there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. kid. Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the road near the main metro station. Hakon. 
<laughs> You're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. So wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels.
Not a single sig more. <sighs> nah, never mind then. Bye. Wait! Show us some of those photos there. As a pre- God, what the hell? Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. In our fantasy, we need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said- Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports? A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. I haven't heard from them for 10 years. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. Besides, 
If I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But Command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look. We are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So, will you help me? So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. They didn't hurt you, kid, did they? So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ator doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems.
Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. What's his name? Hubert Carbazos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. But wait, I just want to buy something. So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. Apparently he had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, sure. Isn't someone escaping you? Hack on. He's running away. Nah, sounds like Yubi. Oh, wait a sec. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. building. He's climbing to the roof. I just want to talk! Leave me alone. I ain't done anything. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? 
Offense? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes someone's coming after me, man. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Now stop fucking around. Tell me, or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know a Maya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. The Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlooked them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro.